morning, my Wee Ones friends, and welcome to another Wee Ones Wednesday. I'm glad you could join me today. I'd like to say good morning to all my friends, Julia Jackson Jameson, JJ and Annabelle, Poppy, Maxine and Gloria, Emily and Ida, Teddy, Matilda, Will, Jack, Josie, Johnny, Eloise, Milo, Emmy and Ridley, Darshan, Carly, Joshua, Eden, Ben, Owen, Mariana, Olive, Camden, Matthew and Maeve, and Duncan. Welcome everyone and all my friends out there. Let's call our friend out to help us sing. Who's, who lives in the ocean, has eight legs, and likes to help us sing every day? Oh, right! Our octopus friend. Let's call our octopus friend out. Are you ready? Octopus, octopus, where are you? Oh, here's our octopus friend. Good morning, friends. Let's sing our song. Octopus, octopus under the sea, won't you tell your name to me? Santi, Santi. Now your turn. Octopus, octopus under the sea, won't you tell your name to me? Yay! Good job, everybody. Let's say goodbye to our octopus friend. Goodbye, octopus. Octopus really misses you. There he goes into the sea. Speaking of things that live in the sea, today I thought we'd talk about one of my favorite sea creatures, a sea star. Oh, look how beautiful that one is. You see that? Have you ever seen one at a touch tank or in a tide pool at the beach? Well, now is the time to be searching for them. You can see them around the rocks, on the sand, usually in shallow water. And if you ever do find one, Either leave it in the water and just touch it gently with your hands, or you can hold it really gently in your hand, but leave it down in the water as well. As you probably know, sea stars come in very many different colors. Look at this one. Oh, why do you think this one's my favorite? Well, if any of you know me, you know my favorite color is purple. So yes, this is one of my favorites. And look at this one. This one's beautiful too. So they're really different looking, each one. But there's something they all have in common. What do they have? How many legs? Five, that's right, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see the red one. We just had. One, two, three, four, five, that's right. So today, you're gonna to get to paint your own sea star and create any color that you want. I started off with a piece of paper. I drew a sea sh star shape on it with the five points and I cut it out. Uh, I used white paper, but you certainly could use um, any color paper if you'd like, uh, whatever color you think you want to create your sea star. Then I got a piece of something to make little dots. Oh, let me show you. This is what my sea star looked like when it was all done. I have eyes on this side to make it look like a cute little face, but really sea stars have eyes on the end of their legs, kind of neat. So I don't know if you can see, I have little dots all over my sea star. How do you think I make those? Well, sure, I use paint, absolutely. Oh, did you use your, could you use your finger? You sure could. You could dip your finger in paint and make the dots. That's a great idea. You could use the end of a pencil eraser and dip it in, but I used bubble wrap to make my little polka dots all over my textured print on my sea star. So I took a little of the bubble wrap and I dipped it in to some paint on a paper plate. You only need a little bit because if you use too much, you won't get to see those cute little polka dots. So I use a little bit, I dipped it in, and then I pressed it down on my sea star. Just gently pressing enough so you can see the little polka dots come out on it. And that's how I decorated my sea star. You can see a little bit of shine in mine because I looked, I used a teeny bit of glitter in it too. So sorry parents, but I love glitter. <laughs> so a little bit of glitter, or you can use glitter paint. That's a little easier. Um, so that's how I made my sea star. So hope you, hopefully you can make one too. I'd love to see what you create. Um, when you make your own, if you'd like to share it, I'd love to see it. 
So, oh, I think you can see there's a little sea star in my picture too, right down on the bottom on my print. It's on my walls. Okay, let's see if we could sing some songs together. How about if we get our itsy bitsy spiders crawling? Can you show me your itsy bitsy spiders? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yay! Good job, everybody. Let's see, should we sing our fish song that we sang last week? Down in the valley where the green grass grows swam three little fishies and the mama fishy too. Swim, said the mama fishy, swim if you can. And they swam, they swam right over the dam. Yay! Good job. Okay, let's get our five monkeys swinging. Each finger will be your monkey. One, two, three, four, five monkeys. Five little monkeys swinging in the trees. Teasing Mr. Alligator, he can't catch me, no, he can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator swimming quietly. Then snap, Mr. Alligator, snap, Mr. Alligator. We have five monkeys, we take one monkey away. How many monkeys are left? One, two, three, four little monkeys swinging in the trees. Teasing Mr. Alligator, he can't catch me, no, he can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator swimming quietly. Then snap, Mr. Alligator, snap, Mr. Alligator. We have four monkeys, we take one away. How many monkeys are left? One, two, three little monkeys swinging in the trees. Teasing Mr. Alligator, he can't catch me, no, he can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator swimming quietly. Then stop, Mr. Alligator, stop, Mr. Alligator. We have three monkeys, we take one away. How many monkeys are left? That's right, two little monkeys swinging in the trees. Teasing Mr. Alligator, he can't catch me, no, he can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator swimming quietly. Then snap, Mr. Alligator, snap, Mr. Alligator. We had two monkeys, we take one away. How many monkeys are left? Yes, one little monkey swinging in the trees. Teasing Mr. Alligator, he can't catch me, no, he can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator swimming quietly. Then snap, Mr. Alligator, snap, Mr. Alligator. And what does that monkey say? Na 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 na, you didn't catch me. Yay! Good job. That's an all time favorite, I think. Let's get our turtles ready. I had a little turtle. It lived inside a box. Cover him up. He swam in the water and he climbed up the rocks. He snapped at a mosquito. He snapped at a flea. He snapped at a minnow and he snapped at me. Oh! He caught the mosquito. He ate him. He caught the flea. He caught the minnow, but he didn't catch me. Good job, everybody. Let's hop up on our feet and shake our sillies out. So let's shake our arms and our legs and our head and our feet and freeze. Good work. And shake again. Shake your arms, your legs, your head. Oh, oh, shake, shake, shake so quickly. Go ahead, shake it fast and freeze. Great job. All right, let's sing head, shoulders, knees, and toes. So everyone, point to your head. Where is it? That's right, right here on top of your body. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Yay! Good job! What's that? You want to try it fast? Really, really fast? All right, let's do it again. Ready, faster. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Yay! That was so fast. Oh my goodness, well done. Great job. Let's sing if you're happy and you know it. We'll start by clapping our hands, stomping our feet, and shouting hooray. Then we'll do all three. Are you ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. 
Stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray! Yay, everybody! Let's try one last song. Way up high in an apple tree. Good job! Two little apples smiled at me when I shook that tree just as hard as I could. Down came the apples. Take a bite. <sighs> mm, they were good. Good job, everybody. Well done. Well, this is the time we have a snack and a story. So if you'd like to grab a snack right now, I think you know what we like to serve at Wee Ones. Pretzels always, pretzels always. So grab whatever snack you have and join us for a little bit of a story time. This is a book I love called Stella, Star of the Sea. You can see she's floating in the ocean. And look what's near her, some sea stars. That's right. And this is a little bit of a silly book, but a cute one too. So maybe you can point out the silly parts. Let's see. Looks like Stella is at the ocean. Hopefully you have all been to the ocean by now. So this is Stella and her brother, Sam. Stella and Sam were spending a day at the seashore. It was Sam's very first time. Isn't it beautiful, Sam, asked Stella. It's very big, said Sam, and it's noisy. Think he's a little nervous? Stella had seen the sea once before, before Sam was born. She knew all of its secrets. Is the water cold, asked Sam. Is it deep? Are there any sea monsters in there? Stella doesn't look too worried, does she? <laughs> the water is lovely, said Stella, and not a sea monster in sight. Come on in, Sam. Not right now, said Sam. Let me see him standing on the shore. He's not so interested in swimming yet. <laughs> Where do starfish come from? asked Sam. From the sky, answered Stella. Do you think they come from the sky? No, that's silly. Starfish are shooting stars that fell in love with the sea. Weren't the stars afraid of drowning? asked Sam. No, said Stella. They all learned how to swim. this asked Sam. Oh, it's a moon shell, said Stella. It comes from the moon. What is that? asked Sam. Oh, it's an angel wing, said Stella. It comes from an angel. And this asked Sam. It's a shark's eye, said Stella. Do you think there are sharks in the sea? asked Sam. Have you ever seen one? Just a little one, said Stella, with an eye patch. Are you coming in, Sam? Uh, not just this minute, said Sam. He's still not sure about swimming yet. Come see, Sam, called Stella. I found a seahorse. Look at the seahorse she found, like a little toy. Does a seahorse neigh, asked Sam. Does a seahorse gallop? Yes, cried Stella, and you can ride a seahorse bareback. Come on in, Sam. Not right now, said Sam. She's got a good imagination, doesn't she? Let's dig a very deep hole, said Stella. Why, asked Sam. What for? Where will we end up? In China, answered Stella. Are we there yet, asked Sam. Let's go fishing, Sam, sighed Stella. Maybe we'll catch a catfish. 
they are. Swimming on the, fishing on the pier. Does a catfish purr, asked Sam. Does a dogfish bark? Does a toadfish croak, asked Sam. I don't know, sighed Stella. I'm going swimming. Does a parrotfish swim, asked Sam. Or does it fly and squawk? Does the sea touch the sky, asked Sam. Do boats sail off the edge? Where do waves come from and why? Sam, yelled Stella. Are you ever coming in? Yes, said Sam. There he goes to join his sister. And they swim together. Even the dog is floating around. And that's the end of the story. Thank you, everyone. And thank you for joining me for another Wee Ones. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.